We are the Aloha State, and Aloha means love. And this bill, Mr. Speaker, is all about love. Quasi-gay, Gaysian, bisexual, metrosexual, pansexual, heteroflexible, fa'a'athena, transgendered, androgynous, mahu, and a granny who was a tranny. And while we are tolerant of different cultures in Hawaii's melting pot, the majority must strive to be tolerant of someone who is different. If we are in fact so stuck in our beliefs that we are unable to make an objective decision, then maybe the 76 members of this legislative body shouldn't be the only people voting on this monumental measure. I respect that if someone tells me how they feel about themselves, that they are the experts on themselves. Let the people decide, because if they don't, they're going to decide who's here. And I know the day will soon come when same-sex families are seen as equals, because people aren't born discriminating against them. People are taught to discriminate against them. Have the people of Hawaii not done enough? We gave you your civil unions. We gave you your reciprocal benefits. We don't have signs that say straight people only. We don't have signs that say GLBT to the rear of the bus. And we don't have separate water fountains for GLBT individuals. Have we not already shared our aloha spirit with you, our customs, our culture? We have an equal amount of determination and passion to protect the churches, the mosques, the synagogues, and other places of worship, and those that lead them with exemptions and protections that ensure that their constitutional right to freedom of religion is protected. But the resounding thing that we heard from the people that came here, Mr. Speaker, when that door opens is going to be, let the people vote, Mr. Speaker. For those reasons, I'm voting no on SB1, HD1. Thank you. This broken process made me choose between the rights to benefits and the rights of conscience. And I can't vote for a measure that would further inhibit the free practice of religion, which I know that many of my constituents hold dear. Let the mainland be the mainland, Mr. Speaker. Let Hawaii be Hawaii. But many, Mr. Speaker, have said, give them an opportunity to vote. I cannot rise up benefits with the possibility of eroding religious protections and freedom of conscience. You see, Mr. Speaker, again, I'm, I'm not held to any sp specific conviction. But I do have certain beliefs that I hold near and dear. And in this process, I have been shown so much love by a community I thought hated me. And I found so much hate in a community that I thought embraced me. See, Mr. Speaker, I have no hate for them. We listened to 57 hours of testimony, and within two hours, we came up with a decision. And again, overwhelmingly, resoundingly, the message that resonated was vote no, kill the bill, let the people decide. It was not amend the bill. That was not the message. And so again, Mr. Speaker, I feel that a great injustice is, being, is, is occurring today. And if this issue has brought out the ugly in some people, it's the ugly that has already existed in some people. Thank you. Calling me a bigot, a homophobe, a racist, that's the easy way out, that I haven't evolved. Again, this is about the process, a process that has failed the people of the state of Hawaii. And this governor has chosen not to defend the law regarding the marriage statute on the books today. That was approved by some of my colleagues back in 1994. I truly believe in dream that whatever happens with this particular measure to the Senate, that the Senate may consider going into conference and maybe strengthening it. Or has the deal been done with House Draft 1? 